Okay, let's go over a little simple logic uh, truth table. All right, go up here, open this thing up. All right, we have two conditions, A and B. All right, for each condition, you can have either of them will either be true or false. But because you have two different conditions, that means you have four possibilities. You can have them where they're both true, one of them is true, or they're both false. All right. Whenever you're using an, a logic AND, the only state that that thing will be true is if both condition A and condition B are both true. The moment that one of them is false, when you're using logic AND, means that that outcome will always be false. Okay. Now, the opposite is when you're using an OR. Uh, whenever you use the logic OR, all it requires is that either uh, condition A or condition B to be true. Once either of them is true, it'll make that entire condition true. But the moment that both of them are false, that is the only way that the that condition will ever be in the false state. Okay. Then we have this exclusive or. The exclusive or is basically looking at the state of A or the condition of A and the condition of B and as long as they're opposites of each other then that means that that part will end up being true. So if both condition A and B were both true then if you exclusive or say A exclusive or B that would put that condition into a false state. But if one was true and the other one was false it would put it into a true state. Okay. So with that being said, we're now going to program the aux key to where we program it, hit it once, it'll be in a latch state and that output will be turned on. And then if we hit it again, then it will turn that output off. And that's one of the reasons why I'm bringing this up because we're going to have to exclusive or the state in order to switch it because we're going to have to look at it see what state it's in and whatever state it's in then reverse it all right so now let's go ahead back to our source file go ahead and search for that ot6 and i'm going to continue to use that aux3 but rather than since i don't have the physical um aux3 button i'm going to go ahead Oops. and keyboard shortcut here delete that so that way it's only looking at your uh, the aux button being pressed from the virtual control panel but rather than clearly or directly turning that output on and off what I'm gonna end up doing then is I'm gonna set this and have it uh, associate with the one shot because remember the moment that I click it and then release it, I want it to set a, a one shot to latch it. Because if it was set in this state, the moment that I release it, as we saw it before, that output will turn off. So I am going to go ahead and set that box 3 PD, because as we showed before, the one shots were labeled as PDs. So we go ahead and we're gonna set that. And now I'm going to have to look at that state of that PD. Okay. So. What this logic is saying right now is it's look, going to look at that uh, the one shot and depending on the state of the aux3 LED, I'm then also going to end up turning on OT6. Okay, so if aux3 is on and I'm hitting this one shot, now aux3 will end up being turned off. All right. So now I'm also going to go ahead and.
So once again, we're going to go over the state. First line is saying once the VCP button, the AUX3 button on the VCP is being pressed, it's going to turn on the one shot. The one shot is going to look at the state of the AUX3 LED. Whatever state it's in, it's going to put it in the opposite state. That's what this line of logic is doing. And then the last line of logic is then saying, all right, whatever the state of AUX3 LED is in, then I'm going to turn my output on and off. So if AUX3 is on, OUT6 is going to be off. If AUX3 is off, OT6 will be off. All right? So now, let's see. Add a little description of what my logic is doing, so like that. Anyone that went through and was trying to search for it or trying to follow it and try to troubleshoot it, they know exactly what this line of logic is actually doing. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Save, compile it. Oh, looks like I have an invalid action. Oh. And the reason why that thing uh, failed to compile is because in my condition, I say if skin aux3, then aux3pd. But it doesn't know what to do with aux3pd. It doesn't know if it's turning it on, turning it off. There's no set. There's no reset. There isn't in coils. And that's why it failed to compile. So put that in coils. So that means that as long as I'm pressing that, I'm setting that uh, one shot. The moment I press it again, it sets that one shot once again. Okay, so now let's save that. Compile. And now it compiles successfully. Now let's go ahead, test it out. All right, hardware is ready. Start the software. All right, clear that fall. All right, hit Alt I once again to bring up the PLC diagnostic. We're going to be looking at OT6. I'm going to press AUX3. As you can see, I pressed it once. My AUX3 LED is on, as well as output 6 uh, LED on the PLC diagnostic menu is on. So that means that I pressed it once, I turned on that output, and at the same time I'm also turning on the AUX3 LED. If I press it again, it's now going to turn it off. So now I've just created a custom PLC program that will turn an output on and off for every time I press an AUX button. Okay, hit it once again, turn it on, it's on, hit it again, turn it off. 